Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation. I'd also like to say Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you had a great New Year and as well a very safe and healthy one. This is our first presentation of 2021 and it promises to be a good one, just like all of our other ones. So welcome. Now, today I'd like to talk to you about how to kick your trading into overdrive with this extremely simple, in my opinion, this extremely simple pattern. Now, I've often said that Trading is really simple. In fact, if you're doing it correctly, it's extremely simple. It's the trader who makes it more difficult than it actually has to be. Let me share with you this chart right here. This is a chart in EDIT, all right? Now, someone looking at this chart would basically say, well, the way they're trained, myself included, when I first started trading, they say, that's a trendless market. There's nothing really happening here. Why would I want to trade this? But with this pattern I'm going to be sharing with you today, it actually generated two buy signals right here at the very bottom of a quick 65 point run. Now, if you happen to miss those buy signals, well, guess what? There was another one generated here, another one generated here, and then still one last one generated here before this huge run up in that one day, which was just a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna share with you all the rules on how to identify these high probability patterns, and they're extremely simple. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to identify them on our platform, the PTS Primo Charting Platform, that can actually help you kick your trading into overdrive. So welcome to this first uh, educational presentation of the new year. My name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. Uh, since we started 2021, uh, I am now uh, in the happy category of actually uh, being uh, somewhat of an educator for probably about 16 years. And I've been actually trading for now for 44 years. So the new year kicked me up one more year. So I have that much experience hopefully to change your way of looking at the market and to change your trading. Because my goal is really to have you get in the same place. In other words, so that you can be trading not just for a couple of good years, but for a couple of good decades, maybe three, four, five decades. I've been trading now roughly 44 years, as I just stated, and I've accumulated all the things in my 44 year career that actually show signs of consistency. You know, think of it. You're always going to webinars or reading things or hearing about these magical trading systems or magical things that are going to start your new year. You're going to be able to retire in a year and fly a jet and you'll be able to trade from the beach or from a yacht. I mean, that's really silly. I mean, would a uh, brain surgeon be conducting some type of surgery from his yacht or would a, a lawyer be uh, in the middle of a court case uh, doing it online from the beach? I mean, that's silly. It's no different from trading. Why would you take something that is that serious and that much of a career uh, profession and do it, you know, think that you should be doing it from the beach or from a yacht. You have to put in the work to be successful. And that the beauty of that is, is that we are there with you every step of the way. We want to teach you how to become a consistent trader. And you'll see that attention to detail in today's educational class. Now, before we begin, as always, we are required by law to share this with you. So please take a moment once again to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using this particular pattern today, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, since we are an educational company, all signals are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, I see a lot of new faces here today starting off the new year. Now, remember, once again, you can get a lot of free education on a daily basis by simply following us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. I really suggest copying that down because every day I post different information. I show uh, a lot of our uh, signals that have been generated in, in current stocks or futures or currency pairs. And I also explain what they're based off of and why they happened to generate a signal and why they didn't. Also, little bits of financial wisdom along the way. So lots of great free education on a daily basis. Please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, remember, we are different from other presentations, and I'm sure uh, you've heard me say that before. The people here that are, are new to my uh, presentations, this is strictly for you because I know a lot of webinars you've gone to in the past, last year. You wanted to find out what the market was going to do that week. Is it going to keep going up? Is it going to crash? Is it going to go sideways? Or you wanted to find out what I thought of some new stock or what I thought this particular market was going to do. That in my opinion, is a recipe for disaster. You should never ask anyone what they think of the market. Because when you're asking someone, what do you think is going to happen here? What do you think this is going to do? What do you think is going to happen next year? You're basically telling the markets, 
I don't know what to do. Why don't you tell me what to do? Because I don't have enough confidence. I don't have enough experience to make my own decisions. Once again, let's go back to that doctor and to that lawyer. Would you ever imagine a lawyer saying, hey, to his client, what do you think I should do here in court? How should I uh, follow this case? Or a brain surgeon saying, hey, what do you think I should do? Or how should I operate? But that's the way traders act on a daily basis. They're constantly asking people, what do you think I should do? What do you think of this stock? What, what, what are you going to tell me in this webinar that I should buy or sell? Maybe what are you going to do in that chat room? I'll go to that chat room to find out what to buy or sell, or I'll find out what the guys like on TV. I mean, that's ridiculous. You are spending your hard-earned money and your hard-earned time and effort. You have to make your own decisions, and that's how you become a consistent trader. The good news is we specifically developed specialist trading. Uh, I teamed up with ProTrader Strategies with one goal in mind, and that was to teach you how to trade and to make your own decisions. This is what we call the specialist edge, the same edge that has sustained me now going over four decades, and hopefully the same edge I can teach to you to help sustain you now for going into decades, okay? Now, since this is going to be a class today, I'm going to teach you this pattern. Please remember, I want you to ask me questions, but please ask them at the very end of class. We have a lot of slides. I have a lot of slides to share with you. I think 130 I have today, and I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, stop me for every one. It's very simple. It'll be very educational. So if you have a question, please wait till the end of class. And I promise I'll get to each and every one of them. And also all of our courses are uh, recorded. So you can, uh, you'll get a, a link to this recording at the very end of today's class. Okay. All right. Now let me start out by sharing with you what I learned on the trading floor of the exchange, because I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 40 I'm saying that I've been trading for 44 years. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. But my very first year as a specialist, I struggled tremendously. So here's what my mentors taught me when they saw how much I was struggling. They said, Steve, believe it or not, the main purpose of trading is not, I repeat, it's not to make money. I know that flies in the face of everything you've read or heard or in webinars someone have said, but it's really not to make money. So what is the purpose? Well, the main purpose of trading is to simply be in sync with whatever market you're trading. Making or losing money is simply the result or byproduct of that process. Because think of it, if you are in sync, I don't care if you're trading Bitcoin, I don't care if you're trading currency pairs, futures, stocks, if you're in sync, well, then your result is you're going to be successful. It's you only lose when you're out of sync when you sell and then it continues to go higher, when you buy and it continues to go lower. So the main purpose of trading is not to make money, it's to learn how to be in sync with whatever market you're trading, whatever time frame, whatever direction. So how do we become in sync? Well, with this tool, this is one of our most popular tools in specialist trading, we call it the Pet D. This is something I was introduced to some four decades ago, on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. At that time, it, we called it the formula because it was a calculation that we had to calculate just about every tick of whatever market we were following. But with the help of uh, uh, high-speed computers and with com uh, computer programmers, we've developed it into a color bar algorithm. So it's really simple to use. We've taken all the hard work out of it for you. It's proprietary. We're keeping the formula in-house, but that's okay because the secret to the, the pet D is knowing in how to apply it. So as you see here, it only generates two colors. If you have a series of green bars, what the pet D is telling you is that the trend is up. And this is the short-term trend. If you have a series of red bars, well, the short-term trend is down. That simple, okay? Now the pet D, I must explain this, is not a system nor a strategy. So many of our new students say, Steve, this is great, so it's gonna generate these buy signals for me, right? No, it doesn't generate any buy signals, okay? It's a unique color bar tool based on momentum that is designed to show you on a tick-by-tick -tick basis when a trend has most likely begun. So it's not a strategy. There's no buy uh, entry point. There's no sell uh, stop placement. There's no exit levels. These are all things you have to apply. We, we share with you what these things should be in class. In the course, we give you suggestions. But remember, a strategy is, is based on uh, a certain amount of rules and requirements that all come together. And when they all meet, they generate a buy signal. The pet D, its main job is simply to share with you on a tick-by-tick -tick basis 
what the market wants to do. We call it a translator because it's simply translating what a market wants to do at that moment in time. So as you can see here, this older chart of Aetna, the market went straight up and then straight down. This is where students have difficulty because just when they think it's going to continue higher, it starts straight down. When you apply the pet D on our platform, simply click it on, you see the colors change. This is the beauty of the pet D because it tells you which short-term direction you should be trading. And once you know that, you can apply any strategy or technique to that direction and you will increase your odds for consistency. So remember, most traders will say, hey, this is overbought. We've got to start selling it. And by the time they can't take it anymore, they cover their position and then this happens, right? And then they start buying it, thinking that it's going to go higher and then it continues to go lower. Remember, your job as a trader is simply to listen to the market and to become in sync with the market. Now I'm going to share with you a trading technique. We call this trading technique A. It's one of our first techniques we teach our students who are members of the Pet D course. It's extremely simple, but I'm going to share with you how powerful this is. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, wait, Steve, I thought you said the Pet D doesn't uh, generate, uh, it's not a strategy, it doesn't generate signals. Well, it doesn't. A technique is not a strategy. A technique is just simply something that highlights a high probability area for entry. How you decide to enter is on your own, okay? How you decide to exit is on your own. How you decide to place your stop is on your own or track the trade. It's just a technique. It's just one of those pieces of the puzzle, all right? A strategy needs about five or six rules. A technique is just one of those rules, okay? We're just highlighting one. So let me share with you what we're looking at. For this requirement, obviously, we're going to need the pet D, and we're going to need to identify an inside day bar pattern. This is the pattern we're looking for. Now, I know a lot of you are familiar with this, but if you're not familiar with what a inside day bar pattern is, it's a two bar pattern. Okay. Now it's called an inside day because it was first formalized after looking at daily bars, but don't get confused by that because you can apply this to a five minute chart. You can apply this to a weekly chart, a monthly chart, and I'll show you different time frames, different markets. So it doesn't have to be a daily chart. Okay. What it is, is two bars, bar number one, and bar number two. So what you want to see is that bar number two's high to low range here is fitting inside the range of bar number one. Okay. So that's what you want to see. This is an inside day. We have the top range right here. We have the bottom range and bar number two fits within that range. Now it can either be a smaller kind of a lower high and a higher low or it can be equal to, okay? Either way, they are both inside day patterns. And remember, this could be a five minute chart, it could be a tick chart, it could be a monthly chart. It makes absolutely no difference. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for this specific pattern along with the pet D. Now here are the technique rules. If we're looking for a buy pattern setup, remember just highlighting a high probability buy pattern. Here's what we're looking for. Both bars of the inside day pattern must be colored green by the pet D. And if you want to pick one choice uh, of entry, this is just, once again, a suggestion. You can buy when price trades one tick or one pip if you're trading currency pairs above the inside day bar number two. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Here's the inside day. And once we apply the pet D, we want to see that both of these bars are green. Now, one suggestion for entry would be to enter when price trades one tick above here. That's it. It's that simple. Now, what if we want to go short? All right, well, both bars of an inside day pattern must be colored red by the pet D. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to enter to go short or buy the puts, whatever we want to do, it's our choice. When price trades one tick or one pip below the inside day, or that's bar number two. So as we can see here, here's the pattern. Once we apply the pet D, we see that both bars are colored red. So one point of suggestion for entry would be right below bar number two, when price trades there. It doesn't have to close below there, it just has to trade there, okay? Simple, right? Remember, trading is simple. Like I said in the beginning of the presentation, it's the trader who makes it more difficult and more complicated than it has to be. All right, so let's look at some recent technique examples using this particular uh, pet D and inside day pattern. All right, here's an example in Apple, all right? As we can see here, this was in December, just last month, a couple of weeks ago. 
the market had been going up, a really nice rise, and then we kind of went sideways here. Most traders would say, well, this is resistance. You have all the institutions selling. Steve, I go to that chat room, and this guy says that there's major Fibonacci resistance right there. We can't buy. In fact, it looks as if we're going to go lower because we have a, a, a bearish engulfing pattern here. Uh, we have a, uh, you know, a lot of negative uh, candle patterns, and we're kind of rolling over and going to go lower. Okay, The market is telling me it wants to go lower. Well, not really. Traditional wisdom is telling you that, and you, you really can't bank on traditional wisdom because it's one of the most inconsistent things there are. Trust me, I used all these things four decades ago when I first started trading. You know, volume, uh, resistance, looking at what the institutions are doing, tons and tons of indicator crossovers, uh, listening to the earnings or waiting for the guys on TV, and nothing worked at all with any level of consistency. Now, once we apply the PET-D, what is the market telling us? Remember, we have to listen to the market because we want to be in sync with the market. So what a better way to find out than by listening to the market? Well, at this point, we had three red bars, but at coming into December last month, the bars changed to the color of green, telling us that it wants to go higher. So there's no reason to think that it's going to go lower, not unless the bars change to red. You see how simple this is? It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Now that we have all green bars, let's look for that two bar pattern, the inside day. We have a couple of them right here, okay? You would have bought right here, bought this one right here, and then look what happened. Apple went up 15 points. That's amazing. They said, Steve, how'd you know that? Were you watching uh, interest rates or were you watching to see the jobless claims or were you looking at to see what the, the announcement the companies were going to make? No. Remember, you don't overcomplicate your trading without these, with all these outside things that are supposed to tell you what the market's going to do. They don't have any high levels of consistency. All you need to know is in the chart right in front of you. That's where your answers come from, from the source right in front of you. So take your cue from that. Now, if you miss those two signals, guess what? You had this signal right here in WEC. This was coming into December as well. Someone looking at this would say, well, this is definitely a bottom right here. Look at the support. We have a double bottom. And, you know, I got to buy this. You know, it's too oversold. This looks like a major buy. It's probably going to bounce up to these levels. And then maybe I'll think about selling it, right? What is the market telling us? Not these old, uh, outworn and outdated ways of trading the markets. The market, our translator, is telling us that, uh-uh, wants to go lower. All the bars are red. So the, the translator is saying, I want to go lower. So if the bars are red, we look for that two-bar pattern. There's one right there. There's the inside day. And look at all the other chances you had to use that inside day pattern. Eight points to the downside, okay? Now, you don't have to use this to go short. I know a lot of traders don't like to go short. So you could have used this to avoid this. Let's say you were thinking about going along. Well, if you use the pet D and saw this pattern, you say, well, you know what? I don't want to go against this. This is a pretty uh, consistent pattern. I think I'll just wait until the bars turn green. Then I'll use the pattern for the upside. Let's look at EDIT. Okay. I believe this is the chart we were originally looking at. Remember, it's a trendless market, right? Well, is it really? Because when we add the PET-D, we see that for the last week or so, coming into December, the bars turned green. And then if we look for that pattern, we had these two patterns right here. Look what happened. We had a really nice run-up right after that. And this is where most traders say, gosh, well, it's too late to get in, right? Not, not really, because if you look at the uh, price bars, they're still colored green. And if you look, you have three more inside day patterns. So the market is always giving you opportunities, always providing you with chances to go along with it, to be in sync with it. But for some reason, we want to do the opposite. We want to fight it. We want to, you know, be contrarian. We want to say it, it can't go up any higher. This indicator is too uh, overbought. Or, uh, you know, that guy in the chat room is telling me I got to sell it. Listen to the market and welcome consistency for the first time in your trading. Here's another example on BBY. This was coming into December as well. Someone could say, well, how am I supposed to make a qualified decision based off of two bars? I mean, I need to look at a month or two of chart data. I need to see what the interest rates are. I need to see what's going on uh, on TV with these guys that talk after the markets close. I need to go to that chat room. Uh, you know, I, I have to wait and see what the earning estimates are. Once again, that's like the doctor 
asking someone in the operating room, how do you think I should operate on this? All you need to know is to listen to the market. We apply our translator, the PET-D. Right off the bat, it's telling us it wants to go down. We only need to look at the two bars. And as we see here, this is an inside day pattern. So that's a sell signal. You got all the information you needed, what to do with the market just after looking at two bars, okay? And look what happened. You see how simple trading can be. There's no, absolutely no reason to overcomplicate it. I know a lot of people say, well, Steve, you know, do you uh, check out all the stocks you look at and, and look at their earnings? And, and or do you have like three or four monitors where you're constantly monitoring things? And are you watching the news on TV and seeing what's going on fundamentally or, uh, you know, economically with the markets? I said, no. I have one screen. Most of the time I'm listening either to music or I'm watching a movie. And uh, that's it because I don't need to overcomplicate my trading. It's really simple. Trading is simple. It's the trader who makes it more complicated than it has to be. And if you miss that, look how many chances the market allowed you to get back in if you wanted to. Let's look at CRSP, all right? Once again, coming into December last month, looks like we're overbought, right? We can't get through that level, but if you apply the PET-D, all of the bars remain green. If you look for that two-bar pattern, well, we have a couple of examples right here. And in December, the stock went up 70 points. Not a bad little trade, right? Remember, this is not a strategy though, because a strategy will tell you exactly where to exit. A strategy will also tell you if you wanted to be in this trade longer, how to you know, track your trade all the way up with stop placements, how to move your stop up. You know, that's all of the components you need for a trading method. This is simply highlighting high probability points for you to enter or to take notice of the stock. Now, it also gave you three other chances to get in if you happen to miss that as well. Let's look at OSTK, okay? This stock has been going down. Some would say, well, gosh, you know, how did you know it was going down? Well, if you applied the PET-D, you would have known because the bars have been red and you had this two-bar pattern here where you could have taken advantage for 10 points in about a week to the downside. Here's a weekly chart just to show you that this can be applied if you're in a, more of an investor or more of a swing trader, you like to use weekly charts. Nothing changes. Just because we change the time frame. absolutely nothing changes. We could have taken advantage, advantage of this really nice rise in UPS apply the PET-D and we see that even down here, the bars were green. So even at the lows, the market was telling us it wanted to go higher. And then all we had to do is apply the two bar pattern and it's all over the place for potential 70 points. How about a weekly chart of GILD, GILD, okay? Same thing here, there's nothing we have to change because we're looking at a different time frame. Now, sure, in hindsight, it's been going down since August coming into December. But if we applied the PET-D, we knew it was going down already way back here in July and August because the bars were colored red. And then if we look for that pattern, we see one, two, three, four chances to get short if we wanted to take advantage of it going to the downside. Now, obviously we could have avoided it if we wanted to, or we could trade it if we wanted to. It's your choice. You are in charge of your trading. As we look at Amgen right here, Here's a typical example of someone would say, well, Steve, this is oversold. Look, we bottomed right there. We hit that bottom, which is a, a major uh, uh, support line. You know, it's an Elliott wave support. This is probably the bottom of a wave three. We're going to make, a, or I should say, a yeah, wave three. There's going to be wave four up to the top. And then we apply the PET-T and we say, listen, the market just wants to go down. We don't care what wave we're in. We don't care what the institutions are doing. We don't care what the earnings are doing. We just know that the market wants to go down. I don't care if the earnings are going to be phenomenal. Until all the bars start to change to green, that's all I'm really looking at. Here's that two-bar pattern. So that's the only thing I'm concerned with. My source, what I'm trading, that's it. Because everything comes from the chart in front of you. So why not just trade that? And as you can see, straight down after that. This was in October coming into November. And if you missed that, there were a lot more opportunities to get involved. Here's an example in QS, okay? Obviously, in hindsight, this stock has been going up since November, all right? This is what traders love to look back in hindsight and say, gosh, I missed this. How could I, how could I have known this? Well, no one knows if someone's gonna, something's going to move up like this, but the market will tell you exactly what it wants to do at that moment, though. 
So all you had to do was apply the PET D and it told you way back here at the beginning of November that it wanted to go higher. Then all you had to do was look for that two bar pattern and look at all the chances you had to take advantage of this 115 point upside move coming in to this last week. Now, to the downside, we look at BABA, okay? A lot of traders say, oh, well, Steve, there's a lot of bad fundamental news about that. There's a lot of things going on. I, you know, it's up to you if you want to look at news. I never look at news. News has nothing to do with my trading. In fact, if someone doesn't believe that, I'm still here. I've been trading for 44 years. So if I'm still trading, then, then I'm living proof that you really don't need to look at it. If you want to, go ahead. But remember, it's the trader who makes their own individual trading more complicated than it has to be. I stopped looking at news over four decades ago because my mentors told me the same thing. They said, Steve, you're making it more complicated than it has to be. Just trade the chart in front of you. Once I learned how to do that, trading became simple and I became more consistent. For example, I don't care what the news is in this. It's a sideways market right here. This was in December, beginning of December. But if I apply the PET D, the PET D is telling me that, well, maybe it's going sideways but eventually wants to go lower. Until the bars turn green, this wants to go lower. So if, it, if I have a seller's point of view, I simply look for that two bar pattern. And there's one right here. This was in mid-December. And look what happened to the stock. It fell 55 points based off some bad news, I assume. But remember, how did I know this in advance? The market told me there's nothing I needed to listen to. Why would I overcomplicate my trading trying to figure out what some news is or trying to figure out some fundamental uh, information? Why? It's right here in front of me. Now, if you happen to miss that, don't worry. A week later, you could have had a second chance to get short. Now, let's look at what happens when the trend changes. Here's a perfect example in Moderna. A lot of students say, well, Steve, yeah, but this is great because all your examples, they're all going one direction. But what happens when they change direction? Well, as we look at Moderna right here, coming into December, it was going straight up. And then look what happened after that. Well, if we apply the PET D, look how the PET D helped us in advance of these trend changes. We knew way down here that we wanted to go higher. We knew well in advance up here that we wanted to go lower. All you have to do is look for that two bar pattern. Had you taken this very first one here in Moderna and coming into the end of uh, November, potentially could have captured 80 points. Had you taken this one right here at the top uh, in the middle of December, well, you potentially could have captured 35 points. Once again, trading is simple. Let's look at some other markets now, because I know a lot of you don't just trade stocks. There are futures traders, there are currency pair traders, there are Bitcoin traders. Let's look at those markets, okay? Here's a 10-minute chart of the E-mini futures. This was on the last day of the year, December 31st. In hindsight, we had a really nice run up here, right? How could we have taken advantage of this on a 10-minute time frame? Well, we applied the PET D and we see that the bar was red here, but all of a sudden, we started to turn green. So well in advance of that trend run, we knew that it wanted to go higher. So we look for that two-bar pattern right here, right here, right here. Have we taken advantage of the first one? 22 potential points in just about an hour or so. That's $1,100 per contract. Some traders trade with 10 contracts. That's $11,000 in about an hour. Not based on anything other than listening to the market. Here's a two hour chart of the Swiss franc. Obviously in hindsight, it's been going lower. How could we have taken advantage of the PET D in this two bar pattern? Well, we apply the PET D and look how the PET D told us in advance it wanted to go lower well in advance of the down move. Once we applied it, we see all the sell signals. Now, as we notice here, there were two bars that turned green. The market is, is perfectly, uh, you know, has a perfect uh, 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 advantage and, and ability to change its mind. You know, it can do that whenever it wants. That's fine. But the beauty of it is, is that that two bar pattern wasn't generated. So that's okay, you didn't lose anything. You simply would have said, well, I'm not gonna take that. And then once we change back into red bars, you're back on board. Remember, we just wanna go and be in sync with the market. If the market changed all green, then we're gonna be buying. If it changed back to all red, then we change back to selling. Had you taken this very first setup here, potentially, once again, all of these are potential examples because this is not a strategy. Potentially, you could have captured 75 pips in a couple of days. That's over $750. And then here's a Bitcoin example, okay? We all know that Bitcoin has just been making a meteoric rise here this last month. 
if we apply the PET D, we would not have ever even considered this being overbought. Why? Because all the bars were green starting in mid-December. You see here how they were red. Now, originally they were red, and guess what? That was a sell signal. This is what we mean by consistency. Consistency means that not every signal is going to be a winner. I just want you to be aware of that because there will be losses sometimes. That's where you have to be protective and paper trade and make sure that you have some stops in place. Remember, this is not a strategy. This is just a technique. But the beauty of a consistent method or technique is that it's able to recoup losses. So this would have been a small loss right here. Once we change colors, we change with it. And you would have stopped and reversed and covered your loss and gotten long here or gotten long here. And you would have taken advantage of this major, major rise in Bitcoin that we've had this last month. So sure, you had a small loss, you covered it, you got out, you licked your wounds and said, you know what, get back on my horse because there's a lot of uh, you know, uh, opportunities going on. And what most traders like to do is they like to sulk in the corner and feel bad for themselves and figure and say, this doesn't work. But you have to be you know, watchful because there are opportunities all around you. Just because you have a small loss every once in a while does not mean that it will not apply for the next one. Let's recap. I just share with you a simple trading technique using the pet D that pinpoints quick momentum moves in any direction and in any time frame. But remember, this is a technique only. It's not a strategy, not a system. You have to apply those things in terms of making it one, okay? Now ask yourself, do you think this tool, the pet D, along with the different ways in which to apply the pet D to your trading can help you in 2021? I think all of you will say yes, this would be so simple and so powerful to apply to your own personal trading. So, because it's the first class of the new year, I want to offer you a great discount today. All right. Obviously, we're going to offer you the Pet D. This is our roadmap for any market course. We're going to give you instant access with the Pet D, the color bar tool. You can use this, you can add it on to your current uh, platform. Let's say you use TradeStation, Metastock, uh, MT4, uh, Ninja Trader. Uh, all the most prominent platforms will supply you with the add-on so it will automatically color your bars green or red, okay? Plus, we're going to furnish you with two continuation trading techniques and two pullback trading techniques. These are similar techniques to what I just taught you, but entirely different. We're also going to share with you a trailing stop technique. Remember, you can apply the Pet D to any market, any strategy, and any time frame. Now, we just showed you how simple it is to apply the Pet D on our platform. Now, today only, we're going to offer you, if you become a Chorus member, we're going to offer you a full year of the platform absolutely free. So even though someone would like to trade with it on their own platform, the beauty and the ease of using it one click away is going to be yours for a full year. This is thousands of dollars in savings by having just a platform alone. But with the platform, you also get all these extra, extra bonuses that are fantastic. You know, you're going to obviously get one-click access, our enhanced buy sell line. That's our tool that looks at the overall trend. The Pet D is just the short-term trend, but this will tell you the overall trend. A strength of trend tool for telling you if a trend is going to run out of steam or not. Over 90 prominent of the most prominent technical indicators, auto-generated exit levels, okay? These are great tools for generating exits if you want to use one of our exiting tools. But here's, I think, the, the best thing about using our platform, the signal scanner. You can actually scan for stocks to see whether they are green or red, and that will help you in your decision-making process. For example, let's say you scanned and we're looking at Tesla, and you said, you know what? Tesla's been going up, but that chat room I went to says it's tremendously overbought, so I don't want to buy the Tesla. I mean, in fact, I'm thinking about shorting it. But if you scan the Pet D scanner, you would have seen that, well, the bars are green, so you don't want to short Tesla until the bars are red. Remember, you always want to be in sync with the market. That's the theme of today's presentation. And if you are selling and the bars are green, well, the odds are against you. You only want to be selling if the bars are red. You want to be buying if the bars are green. So now that you know the bars are green, well, guess what? Here's that two bar pattern. Now this happened the first week of December, just one month ago, okay? Look what happened in Tesla after that, okay? 165 points coming in today. This chart was taken this morning. Now, if you happen to miss that, well, you had one more example here you could have taken advantage of, another one, 
and yet still another one, okay? Actually, you had one yesterday. Think of that. You could have taken advantage of this two-bar pattern, which I just taught you today, yesterday. So this is the beauty of this. This is how simple this is. And I know a lot of you go to webinars and the things look amazing. And then you look at the examples and they're like a year or two old. Remember, this just happened this last month. That last setup in Tesla happened yesterday. And on top of that, this is all only featured on the platform. The scanning features, the one-click access, all the other features that I've accumulated in my 40 plus years of trading, they're all right there for you one click away. So here's how to take advantage of this, all right? Let's talk about the roadmap for any market with the one-year platform. Let's break it down. The Petty application course, one year of the platform, we're discounting it down from roughly $5,000 down to $29.95. And on top of that, we're going to include payment plans. So if $29.95 is too difficult a price for you to come up with, don't worry. You can come up with a small deposit and you can still be up and running as early as today. Now, one last thing I did mention is that you'll also get educational correspondence with yours truly. You can email me via my personal email address anytime you'd like with questions about trading the pet D or showing me examples, and I will get back to you as soon as possible to answer them, okay? So this package, which normally costs you with the platform close to $5,000, we're discounting it down to $29.95. You get the platform, one year free of the platform, and on top of that, if you can't come up with $29.95, you can come up with a small deposit, and you can still be up and running as early as today. A year from today, all right, the first week in 2022, I can almost guarantee you, you will have wished you became a member of the Pet D course. Don't start out 2021 the way you started out 2020. Start out on the right track with the, with the tool that actually translates what the market wants to do. What a great edge to add to your trading plan. Become a student of mine in the Pet D course. Here's how to take advantage of this, all right? Contact Pro Trader Strategies. I developed the platform with them. They're in charge of all the pricing. I would strongly suggest calling them directly at 310-598-6677 because if you want to put together a payment plan, they can give you an estimate about how much would be needed. They can talk with you over the phone. There's absolutely no obligation. They, uh, they're more than happy and they're flexible uh, and they'd be happy to just uh, you know, work with you and so that you can come up with a small uh, deposit and then have a, uh, some type of a monthly payment after that, okay? So I would strongly suggest calling them once again, don't worry, there's absolutely no obligation. They're very friendly. And on top of that, they're very flexible as well. Now, that link you see at the very bottom will take you to the information page about today's promotion. It'll also uh, take you to the sign-up page if you'd like to sign up online. But it's not a live link. We just posted a live link in the chat box of the GoToWebinar column on the far right. So if you click on the chat box, you see a live link there, and that will take you to the information page, okay? I'm going to leave all this information up here once again so you can copy it down or call Pro Trader Strategies. Uh, I promised I would answer questions. So if you have questions right now, uh, just simply go to your question and answer page, type them in, and I promise I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, someone is asking, does this work uh, in uh, real time, or I should say, does this work in short term time frames? Uh, yes, it does. I, I shared with you that you probably wrote this question before. Uh, you can apply this to a 10 minute time frame, as I showed you in the e mini. If you like to trade intraday stocks, you can apply it to that. Uh, I showed you weekly charts of stocks. I also showed you a two hour chart of currency pairs. So remember, the PET D is simply a translator, it can be applied to any market, any time frame, in any direction. I also showed you Bitcoin as well. Okay. Uh, Question, when I first found out about the Pet D, did I realize right away how powerful it is when you saw it? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, Eric, hi, Eric's a good a student of ours. Um, I didn't really, because it was it was actually very cumbersome to use when I first found out about it, because it was something I had to calculate. And so, uh, you know, remember, this was going back to the 70s and the 80s, 1970s, 1980s, when I was trading. We didn't have high-speed computers. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have, uh, you know, programmers uh, to our access. So it was very difficult. Uh, so it was used, but we could only use it for daily bars. But this is something now that we can use intraday. So it's it's really, really helped a lot. But uh, I, I didn't really know how powerful it would be because I could only use it for certain markets and certain time frames because my access was limited. Uh, it was, it, you know, I couldn't uh, calculate the pet D for virtually all the thousands of stocks, you know. So it was very limited. But once I saw 
when I started working together with Pro Trader Strategies and we got together with programmers, that's when I really saw the awesome power of it because it's like, wow, this can be translated onto anything. These are markets that I've never traded before, such as Bitcoin or, uh, you know, I did, had traded commodities, but not a lot of commodities. And so that's when I really saw the awesomeness of it roughly about, roughly about 15 years ago when we first started talking about it. Okay. Good question though. And one last thing, uh, someone just asked, is this the one of the uh, the uh, only techniques that we will learn? No, there are dozens, if not hundreds of ways to trade the pet D. There are just literally dozens of ways to trade it. I mean, this is just one. And we teach you roughly about four or five different ways. That includes the stop. But there are so many ways to trade it. Some of our students come up with different ways and they share with me how it really helped them. And then we share them with other students. So there are so many ways to apply it. But remember, it is not a strategy. It's not a system. It is simply a way to highlight these high probability areas. Okay. Now, I use the pet D every day in my trading. I used it this morning. I had a, a, a one trade this morning where it was a profitable trade, a short-term trade. I was trading the E-mini futures, and I used it then, okay? So this is, a, you know, something you can use for any market and time frame. And remember, you have my personal email address. Once you become a student of mine, you can contact me whenever you'd like, all right? It's just between you and I, and I will answer your questions whenever you'd like. So become a student of mine. I know how difficult it is. I know how many of you are struggling. That's okay. We've all been there before. I don't want you to struggle going into 2021. I'd like you to become a consistent trader and for the very first time, feel confident in making your own trading decisions, okay? Let me educate you with the things that have worked for me, and hopefully you'll be able to be trading two, three, four, maybe even five decades down the road, okay? As we conclude, I just want to say thank you so much for attending today. I also want to wish you all a happy, prosperous new year in 2021. But most especially, I look forward to all of you, all of you becoming students of mine in the Pet D course. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.